The last 17 years, Dale would not go anywhere. I tried and tried. It's only been the last 12 to 15 months that Dale has come on because of Life Without Barriers. When Dale goes to the centre, Dale loves his painting and he does art and he brings it all home or he, he does the calico bags they paint on them. When I first started here, um, Dale was very, um, was very quiet and over the period of the, the eight months that I have been here, I've noticed extremely how Dale's vocabulary has, has improved. I have found that he has grown so much in the last eight months and he's such a pleasure to work with. Trust has been something that has been built over time and Dale feels comfortable enough to, to be, um, show excitement. Dale never wanted to paint or anything like that, so now Dale paints. He always loved music. He is starting to sing around other people now, whereas before he wouldn't make a peep, you know, and um, yeah, so he sings and he laughs and he's, he's happy. He, and I think that's the key thing. People don't laugh unless they're happy. And he gets us all, all giggling ourselves and then Dale gets this really big belly laugh and, and once he starts, he can't stop. He just laughs and laughs and it just brings everybody to laughter. And it's a very fulfilling feeling to see somebody that's gone from very quiet and withdrawn to actively being involved within the group. It's very important for, for Carol to have somewhere for Dale to go. It just gives her a break and some, some me time. My life has changed. Uh, since Dale has been coming here to Life Without Barriers because I can be able to go out for a couple of hours and come home again after I go shopping or see a friend or something like that. Life Without Barriers, the, they've got such awesome staff, now he thinks that this is part of his home.